The University of Saskatchewan Huskies football program has established a tradition of excellence. That was no more evident than in the 1990s when the Huskies captured two Vanier Cup titles, including the national championship in 1998. You know, it was a really good season and that was a, a very veteran team, maybe one of the most talented teams that, uh, that we've had and uh, it was a bunch of guys that were used to winning. You know, we'd won the national championship in 96, uh, uh, probably half the team was still here in 98 and uh, in 97 uh, we had beaten the team that ended up winning our league. Uh, we'd beaten them in the regular season twice and they went on to win the Vanier Cup. The Huskies finished the 98 season with a record of six wins and two losses, including a victory over the defending Vanier Cup champion UBC Thunderbirds. They had a lead on us in the regular season here. They took the lead with a minute left and uh, we're celebrating. I think we drove the length of the field in 40 seconds and scored a touchdown on the last play to beat them to secure first place and get them back here in the, in the playoffs. In that playoff game, the T-Birds scored a late touchdown to pull within three points of the Huskies. However, the U of S squad hung on and claimed their 14th Hardy Cup. That game was cold. It was uh, it had thawed and then froze again. I think the field was rock hard and very slippery. We were going, everyone's going through shoes. We had runners, broom ball shoes, grips were falling off. It was a tough. All those games against UBC were tough. Next up, the number one ranked University of Western Ontario Mustangs, the only undefeated team in all of Canadian university football that year. Backed by a raucous crowd at jam-packed Griffith Stadium, the Huskies went on to a surprisingly dominant win, 33-17. And they'd had you know, two outstanding rushers and they ran the ball and they had a massive offensive line and, and there was just so much media attention about Western Ontario and then for them to come into Saskatoon and you know, just a bunch of Saskatchewan kids coming together and, and fighting hard and, and uh, we really took it to them for those that, that day. It was, it was a real exciting game for us. It was phenomenal. The crowd, that was the best crowd I ever played, played in front of, ever. It was phenomenal. Back when you could stand on the track and we had people 10 deep and it was nuts. That's probably one of my more memorable games in, in my career here. Uh, first of all, the place was jammed. We didn't have all the seats in and there people are lined up four or five rows around the track. And uh, Western had the mystique at that time of, you know, being a traditional long-standing team that wins every year and we really caught fire and uh, and didn't give up much to them all all game long. Next it was on to the Sky Dome and a tilt with the Concordia Stingers for the Vanier Cup. Uh, playing in the Sky Dome is, uh, is a pretty neat experience and again it was with that team everyone was ready to go. The Huskies were favored going into the game and led 10-3 at halftime but the tables turned in the third quarter. We established some things early, got a lead, and then made a couple mistakes in the third quarter. And then one play early in the third quarter, they, they, they get it loose on us and go score from 60 out. Uh, kick it off a couple series later, we throw an interception, they run it back, and all of a sudden we're trailing. Down by three at the end of the third quarter, the Huskies tied the game in the fourth with a Matt Kellett field goal. And then... Field position in a tie game, of course, meaning so much the option goes awry! Davis in his end zone! Taken down right at the goal line, what's the ruling? Touchdown Saskatchewan! They missed the option pass and went into the end zone, Luke, he stuffed the guy. It was, uh, again, very dramatic and uh, back and forth. The final score, Huskies 24, Stingers 17. Trevor Ludke was named the game MVP. Doug Rosen, who led all rushers with 23 carries and 140 yards, was named player of the game. Four Huskies that season were named Canada West All-Stars by unanimous selection. Scott Flory, Matt Kellett, Warren Musica, and James Repizzi. All four were also CIAU All-Canadians. Musica was also crowned the Canada West Defensive Player of the Year and went on to be crowned the CIAU Defensive Player of the Year. We really didn't have any big name star players on the team. Uh, we just had a bunch of good guys. It's a big honor, you know. It's uh, a lot of hard work that year. Again, a great group of guys, and uh, to be recognized for something like that uh, for the province of Saskatchewan for what we did is uh, pretty phenomenal. We were hungry. We were talented, and uh, and uh, what a, they were a great bunch of kids that uh, that really worked hard and uh, and put it all together. Installed in the Saskatchewan Sports Hall of Fame on June 15th, 2013, the University of Saskatchewan Huskies football team.